everybody how we doing today is tuesday june 27th it's about five minutes to nine in the morning i'm headed over to east banger gotta pick up a friend so normally most of my vlogs are about business things or personal development stuff mindset anything along those lines sometimes tech stuff or gear related things whatever not but not always if you watch you know what i'm talking about but today i'm going to be spending a lot of my day not initially but later on with my good friend gabe who's coming out of this house right here. And what I figured I would do is I would talk about everything that he's taught me in relation to how to eat, how to work out, and a general plan that could possibly help you. Yeah, I'm not ready for this at all. Um, is there like crust in my eyes? Yeah. Are we gonna kiss? Yeah, man. You got it. All we right. will see you uh, 3 30. All right, awesome. All right, man. See you. Okay, guys. How are you, man? Hey, welcome back again. Hey, man. thanks. Did you, did you just hear a couple of things yesterday? I hey. was. <laughs> how you doing, all right? Pretty good. How you doing, man? Good, man. Quick oil change of Valvoline. Absolutely love these guys. How are you? Taking pictures of the back? Nah, <laughs> just video. <laughs> keeping track of how well we do things. Dude, always keeping track of it. All the time, all the time. Okay, so a couple hours have passed. Remember where I dropped off Gabe like a little while ago? More like four or five hours ago? So basically, yeah, so I'm doing, I'm picking it up now. <laughs> you see this bed right here? Yeah. So I don't know if I said this earlier, but Gabe's car currently isn't working. And because of that, he needed a ride to work today. So I was luckily able to do so. What's wrong with your car again? Um, well, what happened is um, it's upside down and it's in a junkyard. So actually, I think, I think it just needs gas. <laughs> it's one of the two. <laughs> So do you remember this morning how I was talking to you about how my friend Gabe has helped me with like how I eat and how I work out and all that? So what I figured I would do, since I usually talk about business, personal development, mindset, all that stuff, and I'm not gonna stop doing that, but I figured today what I could do is Um, I figured I could just share with you how he has helped me and like a couple little simple points. But first I figured I would introduce you to him. So this is my friend Gabe. I've known him for absolutely how many years now? Uh, I think it's been like fun time. You're what, 23? Yeah. It's been like 36 years. <laughs> it's been forever. <laughs> since, since like probably 2007. Yeah. About 2007. Yeah. yeah, it's about 36 years. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Just carry the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but Gabe, about six years ago, was definitely not quite as large as he is today. Um, and that's because he found out about what bodybuilding was and he figured out that that's a, like a huge part of his life now. Mm -hmm. And so what I wanted to do, first of all, before I jump into all helping them, I figured what we could do is just talk about what it's done for you, how'd you got started. Totally. I basically started working out six years ago. I was really young, I was probably like 14 years old and I had this like weird uh, obsession with getting healthy. I ended up meeting a guy named Brandon who was my mentor and taught me everything I knew. And uh, I started lifting on a, a drug-free powerlifting team. I did that for about two years powerlifting, uh, ended up collecting three uh, 
state gold medals and one regional gold medal uh, for teen powerlifting. And after that, I got into bodybuilding. I did a bodybuilding show. Basically, here now, my main goal is to just have the best body I possibly can with functionality. I don't really care too much about being the biggest anymore as I used to when I was 17 or 18. I'm 21 years old now, so my goals have changed a lot. You know, everyone thinks that getting in shape and, you know, losing body fat, gaining muscle, uh, you know, just improving themselves physically in any way is difficult. And I'm here to tell you it's actually way more simple than people make it and probably so simple that you wouldn't believe me if I told you what you have to do to get in shape. So what I want to do while we have Gabe here is, and before we have to get to Bible study because it's almost time to get to Bible study, but what I want to do while we have his time real quick is I want, if you could give them like two to three things that they could take home with them that might help them, whether it be actual physical things to do or maybe some mental stuff or totally. you know whatever you think would help them, maybe something that's helped you but, but would really help them just to get them started and get them on the right track, I guess you could say. Right, so believe it or not, getting in shape and you know, getting better physically is actually way more mental than it is actually physically doing it. Um, I think mindset is key to getting in shape. Another thing I like to do is surround myself with people with the same goals as me. So for example, when I first started working out, I had a mentor that knew everything, taught me everything. So I would suggest getting a mentor, you know, getting your mental side in check. And another thing is too, consistency is key. Consistency is key. Mm. It's not the special fad diet for eight weeks. It's not this special thing for this amount of time. It's doing the same boring stuff day in and day out, trying your best to get 1% better every day. I think the key is to remember why you started and where you want to go in the end. 